Welcome to February's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is number of steps to reduce a number to zero. Given a non-negative integer, return the number of steps to reduce it to zero. If the current number is even, you have to divide it by two. Otherwise, you have to subtract one from it. So we have a number, and if it's even, we have to divide it by two. If it's odd, we have to subtract it by one. And we're going to keep track of the number of steps it takes to get to zero. So what's the problem here? This is pretty easy, right? All we need to do is say while there's a num, we'll first check to see if it's even. And if num is even, then we will divide it by two, else we will subtract it by one. And we also want to keep track of the number of steps it took to get to zero. So we'll start with zero and we'll say steps plus equal one. Now return steps at the very end. So this is very straightforward, um, no tricks. This would be totally accepted. And it's um, O of, I believe, the length of the nums in binary representation. So that would be O of 20. It's actually constant um, in terms of time complexity. But I want to show you something a little bit high level here. What does this look like in binary representation? Let's print out the binary representation and kind of see what that looks like. Uh, one of the things you'll see is when it's even, if we divide it by 2, we just literally get rid of one position. The last 0 there, we just get rid of. Now, if it's odd, that means the last position is 1. We will subtract 1, and that will turn into a 0 here. So we can literally, instead of dividing it by 2, uh, we could do something like this. Uh, is this the other way? And this would actually work as well, uh, because what we're doing is shifting it by one position in the binary representation, and it's going to count up. It's like dividing it by two. So that actually makes it very interesting, because if we had this number represented like some binary representation here, literally the number of steps it takes to get to zero is going to be the length of this binary representation and plus the number of ones here. That's going to take care of the odd steps and the number of positions will take care of the even steps. So we could do that. All we have to do then is return the length of the binary representation of nums, uh, start with the second position, and we will add the number of ones inside of the binary representation as well. So that would be num, and we will say count of ones here. Uh, make sure to actually subtract one as well because that zero position actually shouldn't count as a step. Once it gets to zero, that will be it. So let's see if this works. And this works as well. Let's go and submit it. And there we go. So is this any faster? Um, the truth is it's actually not particularly faster. In fact, it's pretty much the same. But it's good to come at these problems, especially these simple ones, with different approaches and try to implement like other ideas, especially binary representations and things like that. Alright, thanks for watching my channel, and remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.